All right, so we've got this ratio 12 to 64, and we've got to put it as a fraction in lowest terms. The first thing you need to understand is a ratio can be written as 12 over 64 as a fraction. This is the ratio, and that's as a fraction, right? And now we can put that in lowest terms. So that means, you know, what number goes into the top and bottom, right? So take your time. Yeah, just do, two will help because two that be, if two into twelve goes six times. Now just do two into six. Three, Three good, and two into four. four. Twice, right? So now we have six over thirty-two, and we can simplify that again, right? So two into six. Yep, good. Yep. Yeah. 2 into 6, 1 remainder 1, good. 2 into 12 is uh, 6 times, yep. Yeah. So I've got 3 over 16. So just write that 3 over 16, right? And that's as far as you can go. You got it. Now that can be written, write this down for fun, 3 to 16, okay? So what we're talking about is, and by the way, ratios can also be written with the colon, 12 to 64. Uh, is the same thing as 3 to 60, or ah, 12, ah, 12 to 64, sorry, 12 to 64 is the same thing as 3 to 16, right? Same thing as 3 to 16. What that means is, let's say you're uh, baking, baking, and this is sugar, and this is flour, so you're making some type of recipe where, you know, 12 cups of sugar is the same as 6 with 64 cups of flour is the same thing as doing three cups of sugar with 16 cups of flour. Make sense? Right, so that's what a ratio is. Yeah, same thing, there's different amounts. They look different, yeah. All right.